If you've been using LumaFusion for a while, you'll know that there's often more than one way to do things in the editor. For example, if you want to detach a piece of audio from a clip on the main track, we can either tap the detach audio icon or triple tap the clip. When adding a new piece of media, we can double tap the thumbnail in the media library and watch it jump down, drag and drop it, or tap to preview, pre-trim, and then tap on the insert clip icon. And to change the size or motion of a clip, we can enter the frame and fit editor by double tapping on the clip in the timeline or selecting and tapping the edit clip icon. So as you can imagine, the more you practice with LumaFusion, the more you'll get comfortable with the app's interface and you'll develop a production workflow that works for you so you can create your own speedy edits. To get you started, here are seven quick fire ways that you can save time when you're editing on the timeline. When you have a project with lots of edits, it can get a little tiresome to drag the timeline left and right to find the specific part you want. Save time here by using the preview bar to jump around your project with ease. Simply tap to get to the desired part or scroll through by dragging left and right. No matter how zoomed in or zoomed out your timeline is, your preview bar will look the same and help you continuously see the bigger picture of your project by depicting your layers. You can also use the preview bar to move clips around your timeline quickly. So let's say I want to move this clip here to the end of my project. Of course I can tap, hold to pick up and drag, but if you want to get there faster, just use your other hand to tap on the preview bar while you've picked up the clip. And this means you can jump around no problem. Zooming in and out of your timeline can be done by pinching with your fingers in and out, just like you would do on a picture on your phone. But if you want to jump in and out much faster, you can triple tap to zoom into a single frame, triple tap again to zoom back out, see the bigger picture by just double tapping on the timeline, and double tap again to go back in. For precise frame by frame editing, you can choose to zoom all the way in, look for the white bar, and move and edit your clips accordingly. However, sometimes this just isn't necessary and we still want to see the bigger picture but still edit frame by frame. So in that case, we can simply flick our finger left and right on the preview screen to move the timeline along one frame at a time. This is really useful, for example, if you want to see how a transition is evolving or of course to find a specific moment in our video. Splitting clips can be done by selecting a clip and tapping the split icon here at the bottom of the screen. You can save yourself time and an action here though by simply tapping your two fingers either side of the playhead like this. Deleting clips is equally quick. Either tap on the trash can here or tap and hold and throw the clip off the timeline. If you want to delete, move a group of clips or even apply certain actions to a bunch of videos as opposed to just one, don't do this individually. It will take you a lot of time that you don't need to use. You can simply select multiple videos by using this multi-select icon. Either tap to highlight the clips, lasso clips together by dragging on the timeline, or use the in and out brackets in the navigator. With multiple clips selected, you can quickly perform bulk actions on all of the clips, such as move them, delete them, add effect presets, and even copy and paste them between projects. If you spent time making a change to a clip, whether it's a beautiful motion keyframe, snazzy visual effect, or even an alteration to the audio, you can copy and paste one or more attributes from one clip to another. Simply tap on the clip, copy the attribute with this clipboard icon, and paste onto another clip. Remember to use the multi-select tool if you want to make a change to a range of clips. You can also use this copy paste function to literally copy and paste entire clips around the timeline and to other projects. If you're doing this, just make sure you have space on the timeline so you don't overwrite anything when you've pasted. And finally, my favorite, the slip trim. If you have a clip on the timeline that you love, but want to use a slightly different section of, don't delete and bring the new section in. Simply select the clip and then tap on this slip trim icon. Now we can drag on the preview bar to find the part of the clip that we like for our project, which is clear to see by this highlighted section. 
This is particularly useful in complex timelines that can get a bit fiddly if you don't use this icon. Now it's your turn. If there's any tips and tricks that are making your life easier on the timeline, be sure to let us know in the comments below. Good luck with those. Any questions, of course, you can just send them our way. And if not, I'll see you guys over at the Lumatouch Academy for more tips, tricks, and live workshops. I'll see you there.